Space exploration has been around since the early 1920s. Today, let's review a few of those incidents where space exploration inspired the world. Please like, share, and subscribe to Where the World is Frank and Gina on YouTube. From the 1937th May 19th successful liquid-fueled rocket launch, to the 1944 June 20th first man-made object in space launch. Mankind has always had the desire to launch himself into outer space. In 1946, the first photographs were taken in outer space. 1957, the first intercontinental ballistic missiles were rolled out. In the same year, the first artificial satellite was launched into orbit. April 12, 1961, the first man in space, Yuri Gagarin. May 25, 1961, President Kennedy addresses Congress about a need for space exploration. July 16, 1969, the Apollo 11 launch with Neil Armstrong. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Over the years, mankind has tried many times to launch into outer space. Some are more familiar than others. Some were more publicized than others. In July of 1976, the first photos were sent back from Mars. In 1981, the first space shuttle, Columbia, launched. In 1983, the first woman, Sally Ride, launched into space. That same year, Dr. Killian Buford, the first African American, also launched into space. On January 28, 1986, the Challenger disaster happened. We have a commemorative video on our channel concerning that as well. April 24, 1990, the Hubble Space Telescope launches. July 4, 1998, the rover lands on Mars. On January 16, 2003, the Columbia Space Shuttle disaster happened. On January 13, 2010, the first sample returned from an asteroid happened. So let's take a look at our solar system. You may be surprised at the end. Let's name our planets in backward order. First up is Neptune. Uranus, Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, a little planet we know called Earth, Venus, Mercury, and then you have the Sun, our Sun. You might notice I didn't mention Pluto because recently it's been declassified down to a dwarf planet. I don't know about you, but I often wonder, in the realms of outer space, are we actually supposed to be there? Have we actually been there? Man hasn't even conquered his own ocean, nor does he know what all's down there. Something to think about. So when we fantasize about Star Wars and spacecraft, we must also wonder, is this in our imagination? If that be the case, that means we were never meant to leave our own atmosphere. That would also explain why we've never been back to the moon. As an ex-military person, I say, with the technology in 2023, why haven't we been?
but that's a discussion for another day. Please like, share, and subscribe to Where in the World is Frank and Jaina on YouTube.